Saturday the 18th of November, The Guardian. Parents at war could risk losing children. Plans to fight alienation where child is turned against mother or father. Whose plans? Mm. Big picture of a nice dog there and the thing uh, that they hit the catch, the, the line that goes with it is get a dog live longer because pets make you live longer because you're more peaceful and relaxed which is obvious to anyone that's got dogs or cats <clears throat> but down the bottom councils in one billion splurge on hotels shops and offices it's like that they're, they're just making this so easy for me so councils while we've got men women and children on the streets starving they're spending a bill over a billion pounds on sh on hotels, shops, offices, stuff that they don't need to do. But because they spend the money like it's theirs, because as far as councils are concerned, any money they get is theirs for them to do with as they see fit, regardless of what's going on. And who are you going to report them to? Ooh, the council. Good luck with that. Daily Star. Nothing in this whatsoever. Obligatory naked woman on the left hand side there and the main headline all about TV Saturday night pitch battle prime time prem matches lined up um, So it's gonna be football against Those that want some sort of fame well <clears throat> If that's the only news they can find there's something wrong with the press as we all know there is something wrong with the press Daily Express now 20p. Yeah, up where it says Express, just below the last S, it says 80p. Are they taking the piss or playing with us or, or what? Well, we know they are. Main headline, statins raise diabetes risk. You mean they're pharmaceutical poisons? A poison? Well, you could have knocked me down with a feather. De Debbie McGee strictly star hits back over rift rumor. No idea what that's about. Come dancing over, but whatever they call it these days, strictly, isn't it? Yeah. And on the right there, the Express is taking all the praise. Apparently, Express victory as aid to North Korea is stopped. Do you mean we've been sending Korea uh, aid, money, your money, to dictators, as we're led to believe? Why we've got men, women and children on the streets, homeless and starving? Yeah, I think we, Houston, we may have a problem with the governments. Mail. Um, rescue. Ma ma mail, say. <laughs> this newspaper, this, this uh, entity, apparently saves malaria hit British explorer from jungle as he is caught between warring tribes so the mail that building that says it's the mail that corporation has somehow managed to save this guy they'd like you to believe they talk so much bullshit and unfortunately a lot of the time those that read it think it must be true because it's in the paper i think we've all figured out if it's in the paper you can't believe a word of it or at the very least look behind the stories they're trying to claim that they've done something when clearly they haven't the scum and almost well a, a woman with showing her legs something to do with against that jungle crap and then deputy PM sleaze greens mucky escape pour on C's PC illegal eight weeks later no it was illegal when he put it on there but this is it this is them trying to cover up for him that the fact that he's a dirty perv Daily Telegraph EU threat to withhold Thatcher's rebate Well I'll tell you what we'll do We'll withhold anything we're supposed to pay to them Scrap the 72 Act Scrap the Sescovy Act of 1666 And do that to them Because we, we, we pay them far more than that rebate Rebate <laughs> They're giving us a little bit back of what we give them Oh that's so good of them isn't it you couldn't make this shit up, could you? The parasites. 
a family affair for the bitches plat platinum party so she's going to be having a party while we've got everyone loads on the streets are homeless and starving but this bitch overpaid cow is having a party like just like they do at par in parliament because they all have parties you know labor party liberal party conservative party yeah they're all partying at our expense who are you going to complain to oh the labor party the liberal party the conservative party good luck with that and now we get down to some of the nitty gritty down the bottom there Budget tax on throwaway plastic. So, your takeaways are going to go up. Ooh. Now, let's see. Do these scumbag... Do you think these, these parasitical scum are going to get any plastic with their party? No, no, no. Only the poor live off takeaways. So, it's another attack on the poor. Well, you could have knocked me down with a feather. The Times... <clears throat> child abuse on youtube google makes millions from disturbing videos a poor advertisers drop web giant services i w hope that's true i wish that would be true but of course it won't be true the mirror who's a celebrity in a some, half a dozen pictures of kids who gives a shit punch and jury daddy's put through year off court hell for hitting a home raider only to be cleared in 30 minutes. <laughs> who wouldn't batter anyone that came into the property, including bailiffs who aren't allowed to enter your property in the first place? We need to start doing this. We need to start having baseball bats or whatever, and anyone comes near, you batter them. Because that's what I'd do if anyone come in on my property. I'd warn them they're trespassing. If they stayed, I'd warn them they're committing aggravated trespass. If they're still there, it's criminal trespass. And then I would finally warn them, if you don't leave, I will remove you. And then I'd get me back and batter them off the property. Because that's what needs to happen. Take away plastic to be taxed. Food boxes single-use coffee cups cutlery and straws will be targeted in next week's budget so they're going after the poor again what a shock because that's all they ever do in budgets tax the poor while giving the rich breaks government want to slash use of items creating mountain of landfill waste and pollution worlds in world's oceans hmm how about we tax the rich? How about we tax the corporations? You know, these multi-million... How about we tax the council for wasting a billion pounds? But no, no. We'll tax the poor instead because it's an easier target. Chancellor ready to start boom in council house building. Bull! You know the rest. <coughs> FT. London Stock Exchange debates releasing dossier on Rulet's reign. Board on defensive board on defensive over Chief's resign resignation. Dispute with activist fund set to escalate. So they've been up to something some dirty stuff again. You know, this is just so shocking. You couldn't have you would never have expected that from a big multinational corporation, would you? You wouldn't expect them to avoid taxes. Uh, and, and have the, the pores in dirty places and all that sort of thing. No, you wouldn't expect that. Except, I think it's pretty, pretty obvious now that that's exactly what we expect because we know that's what they're all up to. Union warns of campus chaos over change to universities, universities pension scheme. Oh, so those that are already on more money than they need to be, a warning there's going to be a, a, a chaos if, if you start saying, well, maybe you shouldn't be on that golden pension. Maybe we should actually cut the, cut the tuition fees instead of giving you such a golden handshake. You think that's ever going to happen? Never. Hammond, down the bottom there, bottom left. Hammond conjures extra five billion for budget spending. <clears throat> so he's a magician then. Well, let me guess, where's he going to get that from? 
I know, we'll tax the poor some more, whilst giving the rich tax breaks. Yeah, job done, sorted, the poor can pay for it, because that's all they ever pay for it. Dennis Healy, world events do not occur by accident. They are made to happen, whether it is to do with national issues or commerce, and most of them are staged and managed by those who hold the purse strings.